Today I'll be taking a new chapter to test the normality of a data set in R. Previously I had taken how to do that using Excel. Today I'll first demonstrate the same data in R. How to do the normal test in R. So this, this was the Excel file. This was the data or, or the age I had this data I had used for the normal test in the in in my previous video. So I'll just copy this control C. I'll go to R and I'll import this data to R. Okay, this is the R studio. So I'm just importing. From the clipboard, I'm I'm importing that to my one variable called my underscore age. I have imported that. You can now see what is there in that my a. Okay, so that data has come. So now, what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to plot the histogram and see whether it is in the normal distribution. Okay, so I'll just try that. So this is a command for histogram. Okay, hist and then the variables for which you want to plot and, and then other commands probability is true and what is the headline of the plot and x, x axis what what you have to show in the uh, below the graph all these things so just you can see so histogram that's a heading distribution and the density plot okay so the, you can see as you have seen in my previous video this is a normal distribution you can put a graph or or a line on that so this is a normal distribution so after this it is just a one line to show or one command to see whether this is a normal distribution. So that is this is a command for that. Shapiro dot test and you are giving the argument. Just one argument. What is that data? Just type in the so you get the same values that we got in the Excel file. So here W or test strategy is a 0.97 as you remember from this we went to the p value and then took the p took p value table and took the p value. So here the p value is 0.9216. This is a large p value. So we, we go with the null hypothesis and say this is normal distributed. This is the this is how you do it in the R. Hope this is clear. So I think I took about 15 minutes to explain that to you in Excel, but here in just one command, okay, just one command was enough. So that command was Shapiro dot test and give the variables it will come, okay. So that's the beauty of using the using the uh, using R and doing it. So, and there are a lot of data already loaded in the uh, in the R. You can see data, and just type enter. You can see that there are different types of data sets in and that already loaded in the loaded in R. Suppose you want to know something cars. What what is the what is in the car? Just put question mark. Cars. Okay. So it will show you. What is it? Okay, this is the thing. It gives a data frame with 50 observations on two variables, numeric speed, and uh, you can load the data and see whether you can 
see car uh, now just type cars okay so just showing the so it is having 50 observations okay what are the 50 observations speed and distance so numeric speed and numeric stopping distance okay distance so um, you can see one column or cars dollar speed so to show you that one column or cars just type dollar then it will show you what are other head headers what are the headers then it will show automatically just type now let us see whether this is normal distributed okay the distance uh, the distance of this data set is or data frame the distance column is normal distributed okay so first we'll plot the graph and see whether it is normal distributed so just change the value here cars cars dollar this okay you can see whether so i feel this is not normally distributed okay i will just draw a line also with the line density lines is a command and just change here cars dollar just so i i draw the graph i feel this is not a not, not a no, normal distribution so just let us try with that command okay sapero dot test cars dollar just so what value it give it give it give p value is 0 0.03 okay this is much less than 0 0.05 alpha value 0 0.05 is less than alpha so we say it is not normal distributed you can see it is not normal distributed so you can just try the other one uh, disk and speed let us try whether the speed is normal distributed or not okay so speed dollar speed I feel this is normally distributed. Okay, we will just put a line on that, and then we will do our test speed. Yeah, the p value is higher than 0 0.05, so or 0 0.01. So p value is higher, so we say it is normal distributed, it is more or less normal distributed. So this is the method how to do that. In uh, I will show one more example. There is another data set, tooth growth. Okay. So tooth growth. If you want to know what is the tooth growth, type question mark and then tooth growth. Then to show you the example. So the effect of vitamin C on tooth growth in, in guinea pigs. So it has got three variables, length, that is a numeric. So always a num, it, you should play with only numeric value. Okay, so let us draw the uh, normal distribution histogram for the tooth distribution, tooth growth, length distribution. Okay, tooth growth. And the column header name is it will come automatically. Okay, just and then I'll draw the line also. To go dollar. So this is more or less normal distribution. Okay, so let us try the with the command. Okay. Okay, 0.1. So the p value is much greater than 0 
for 0 0.01 so this is so we go with the null hypothesis and say it is normally distributed okay so you can take any any value any column from the any data set that is loaded in your r and see whether it is having a normal distribution or not using the command shapiro.test so i'll just conclude what are the things so the graph i just showed you to see whether it is a normal distribution or not and then you can just just one command shapiro.test okay that one command is enough for you to test the normality using r okay you can uh, one example i showed with the previous my excel file and also there are different data sets you can play with these data sets and see whether they are there is normal distribution or not okay thank you okay